What's up everybody, I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. Welcome to Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture show. Today on the show we're going to talk about Arrested Development because Arrested Development is back, or almost back. The, the wait is just, just a hair over two weeks away. We just got the trailer for Season 5 of Arrested Development. Of course, this is a series that originally aired on Fox for three seasons and then later was picked up by Netflix. It was one of their uh, first Netflix originals. And Netflix created season four of Arrested Development. And again, one of the first things that the, the streaming service did in terms of original content. Now, at the time, that seemed super insane. The fact that, that the streaming service was making new television on the internet and, and they were releasing all of the episodes at once so you could just you know spend an entire day and watch everything. Uh, all of that seemed super cool and, and super crazy and super wild. Now, Arrested Development, I think a lot of people would agree, is one of the best television comedies of all time. It wasn't really appreciated until after the fact, until after the first three seasons. It struggled with, with finding an audience when it was on Fox. But after the fact now, especially with the Netflix streaming, it's really helped it to find an audience. And it's a show that is... Uh, incredibly clever, incredibly smart, very dense. It is packed to the brim with callback references and visual gags. It's a show that you have to be very versed in to to really get everything out of it. And it's a show that even after rewatching it multiple, multiple, multiple times, I still see new things I didn't understand before. I still catch callbacks that I didn't necessarily get before. And there's tons of weird gags that you might not ever get on your own until you read about it on the internet, things like that. Um, really, really great show, really awesome, just just awesome characters, um, cool kind of interweaving storylines, really, really well done. Of course, that's for the first three seasons, and season four was sadly kind of a disappointment. It was, of course, the first season for Netflix, and... Creator Mitch Hurwitz kind of had a real dilemma with creating season four. Everyone had signed back up, all of the cast was going to be returning, but no one's schedule lined up for season four. He literally couldn't get everyone together at one time to shoot the show as they had done before, have all the characters interact with each other. So he kind of made the best with what he had, and he, he wrote this season, and created this season, that honestly doesn't feel much like Arrested Development. Uh, the episodes, each episode focuses on a single character at a time, and the narrative gets kind of pieced together as you watch through the episodes. You start to understand more and more of what happens, and it's, it's told in this kind of non-linear fashion, focusing on a single character's perspective at a time. It certainly was an interesting experiment, but as an Arrested Development season, it wasn't satisfying in the least, and really left me wanting more, and left me really appreciating those first three seasons of Arrested Development for sure. Now, along with this announcement of season five and the trailer getting dropped, we also had a remixed version of season four that actually just came out on Netflix last week. So again, the creator has gone back and recut the show, pieced it together, made it a lot more like a regular Arrested Development season. So the episodes are a little bit shorter than they originally were. They intermingle the storyline between multiple characters, and they tell the same story just in a drastically different way. So if you didn't like season four originally, now might be the time to revisit the remixed version in anticipation of season five. Speaking of season five, that brings us back up here to the current, to this trailer. Honestly, getting a, a fifth season of Arrested Development is something that I really never thought would happen. You know, all of the actors that were, or, that were in the original series have, have gone on to do lots of different things. Jason Bateman obviously is doing a ton of movies now. And I, I really didn't know that we would ever kind of reconvene everyone and have another season. I thought these four were it. So I'm, I'm just tickled with the fact that we are getting a real season. And it seems like a regular season of Arrested Development. It has lots of shots, of course, of all the characters together interacting. 
They're, they're back in the penthouse. They're in the same room together, uh, which brings me great hope. And this trailer, while short, is very funny. Um, you know, right off the bat, we find out that Lindsay is running for office and she proclaims that she wants to be, quote, a part of the problem, uh, which is, is very Arrested Development-ish humor. And again, very apparent that we're getting back to that original style of the first three um, seasons of Arrested Development. Now, originally, the, the Bluth family was intended to be a parody of the Bush family, and a lot of their mannerisms and, and things that happened throughout the series are direct correlations to the Bush family and actions and, and events that took place in the lives of the, 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 the Bush family. It seems now we're transitioning over to a parody of the Trumps instead. Um, Lindsay's campaign sign for her political office that she's running for is almost a direct copy of the Trump campaign logo and sign. So I'm, I'm really excited there to, to see what parallels they draw. And I'm sure whatever commentary they have to say to about the Trumps is going to be both very biting but also very clever. So I'm really excited to see some of the jokes and stuff they come up with and see what Arrested Development has to say in 2018. That is a, a very exciting premise. And I'm just super excited to catch back up with all of these characters and, and see what they've been up to since we last saw them in Season 4. And I am also working on re-watching the first four seasons in anticipation of Season 5 coming out at the end of this month. So that's going to do it for Pretty Dece for today. Thank you very much for joining me here on the show to talk about Arrested Development. New episodes of Pretty Dece premiere weekdays at 8 p.m. on Twitch. You find that at twitch.tv slash show. So make sure you follow me up there and turn on live notifications so you catch the show each and every weekday.